Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're enjoying this cooler weather. I'm Chris Brown, and it's time for your Week in Review from ClarkCountyToday.com. Let's start with the big news of the week, which is the potential to be even bigger news next week. Six Clark County school districts are facing a teacher strike over wages, and Camas could join them next week. Teachers say districts are being stingy with state money approved by the legislature as part of the McCleary-mandated school funding. Districts argue they're losing local levy dollars and have to make it up somewhere. Most districts have bargaining set for this weekend, so stay tuned. ClarkCountyToday.com editor Ken Vance weighed in on the debate in his editorial this week. Vance is a big admirer of those who choose the teaching profession, but he is not fond of their efforts to maximize their earning potential. In fact, Vance bluntly states that he doesn't accept the premise that teachers are underpaid. Vance also shares some thoughts from Rep. Liz Pike and Vancouver-based forensics accountant Tiffany Couch on the subject. Got our Facebook community fired up, so head on over there and join the debate. We reported a sad story this week that unfolded in Woodland. The body of Enrique Ramirez, Henry to his friends, was found just off Fredrickson Road on Wednesday morning. The 51-year-old was a principal in the Reynolds School District in Troutdale and an avid runner on the roads and trails near his home about seven miles east of Woodland. He was reported missing by family and friends Tuesday morning. Searchers from the Cowlitz County Sheriff's Office located Ramirez's body Wednesday morning. Cowlitz County Sheriff Mark Nelson said the death appeared to be of natural causes. In better news, it's football season. Oh, the games might not have started, but trust us, it is football season. Official practice for the 2018 season started August 15th. Since then, ClarkCountyToday.com has been sending staff all over the county for photos, videos, and stories. Earlier this week, we launched our football preview features. There will be two teams featured every day for nine consecutive days. We started Wednesday with the defending state champions, the Hawkinson Hawks. The one day Paul Valencia was not working on football, he got to go to Astoria to catch a salmon. Not an outdoorsman nor a fisherman, Paul wrote a first-person account of the nanosecond it took him to be hooked on fishing for salmon with thousands of others in the Buoy 10 Astoria area. He got a big one, too. Be sure to check out the funny and engaging fish story at ClarkCountyToday.com. Lastly, the story people have been buzzing about. Sorry. But seriously, if it seems like yellow jackets have been bad this year, you're right. One pest control expert that I talked to said it's the worst year he's seen in over three decades in the business. Apparently, a couple of mild winters are to blame. Pro tip, set out some traps in October, and you might catch a few queens. Each one represents a possible yellow jacket nest next year. There you have it, a small sample of the great stories you'll see at ClarkCountyToday.com. And watch for some great stuff from our newest full-time reporter, Jacob Graneman. We're really excited to have him on board. Remember, if you have a story idea, you can send it to us via email, news at ClarkCountyToday.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to be the first to know when new stories are posted and to be a part of the conversation. For all of us at ClarkCountyToday.com, hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.